right, uh, good evening. So to just uh, summarize what I told the players in the locker room, of course, there's two sides of this. You know, there's uh, obviously a disappointment in the loss uh, that we just had. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, that, that's disappointing. And we should have uh, done some things at the end to, uh, to be able to, to have a chance to win that when we were down by eight. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, fourth down. We get to jump, jump off sides at that particular moment, you know, and then we get the holding penalty, which put us behind the sticks, and then we end up getting the sack. And then punt it, we punt and pin there, uh, which uh, Gil did a really nice job with that a couple of times today. And then we, you know, the defense got him to a couple of third downs where we needed those stops. You know, and that's, that's where you got to win the game in the fourth quarter, or at least get a chance to tie it there um, up at that moment. But then the other side of it is, you know, it's the end of our season, you know, so it's the end of our season. And I credited the players for the, the, de the development they had, you know, of this football team, you know, and not only that, but of themselves. And, and I really credit those guys of hanging in there um, after the 0-4 start and the leadership that those guys had uh, to be able to do that, to finish the, the, the season off 5-3. and three. And, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's uh, really a testament to all those guys in the room, the coaches, um, the support staff, and everybody in there uh, to be able to accomplish that. And, uh, you know, to double our, more than double our wins from the first year, obviously that's a, and I credited the guys that are first and second year players and also the guys that were here uh, before. And uh, the chemistry of the group is really, is really good. And, and, that, and that's what it's about. And uh, that's going to carry us on to the future. And that's a heck of a foundation for us to go into the future. And uh, we're certainly excited about that. But again, there's two sides of the coin, obviously the disappointment for this, and, but also the appreciation for the brotherhood that we formed in that locker room this year. So with that, I open up questions. It's okay. Yeah, so like I said before, you know, we haven't had those meetings um, yet. And again, I welcome those meetings. We're going to have those here. Uh, what we're doing tomorrow, and tomorrow is strictly just, and that's uh, what, what I really know right now, is tomorrow we're going to do the exit interviews with the players. And we did it last year. And uh, Ryan and I sit in my office, and it's uh, 10 minutes apiece. And we go from 7 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. And, uh, you know, we get feedback on every aspect of, of the program, all the systems that we have in place uh, relative to the performance staff, to the weight staff, to the trainers, uh, to the cafeteria, the food, uh, the schedule. And that's been invaluable to us, you know, the travel, how we travel on the road um, and everything there. So that is, is pretty exhaustive, uh, but we get great feedback from the players. And that's how we're going to improve. Um, the Chicago Bears as we go forward by getting the, the, the feedback from the players because those are the ones that matter. You know, the players are, the pro are our product, and we got to do a great job of doing everything we can to help them perform their very, their very best. Now, when you were talking about the future, this is potentially a possible is it your expectation that you will be part of that? Yeah, that, that word, right? Expectation is a future word, right? So to me, um, you know, i, I got to be right here right now. Like I said, I have, I have those meetings tomorrow. Right, and then I'll have, I'll have meetings after that later in the week. I don't know exactly when that is yet, um, with ownership, you know, and and, the, and everybody else, and we'll and we'll figure it out from there. Do you feel good about those meetings? Do you feel confident? Well, I do know, I do know this, Jason, that that the uh, foundation has been set. You know, the standards are set. How we operate, uh, I do know that, and uh, you, I do know the locker room. I do know that for sure, and uh, you know, we we are standing on solid ground of hard work. Of, of passion for the game and enthusiasm for the game, and uh, we're just going to keep working together to, to build this thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's really about you know converting you know on the on those critical downs. You know, it, that's what it's about. You know, when you uh, get to midfield, you know, you have third downs and, and, and fourth down tries in that part of the field. You got to convert. You have to convert on those. And that gets you into the scoring zone. And when you're in the scoring zone, you either can hit from the fringe, which we've done before with some really nice plays uh, to DJ uh, during the course of the year, I think back on. Uh, but then you got to be good in the critical downs down there. You know, and that's where the we fell short today. If you look at the third downs on both sides of the ball, you know, they were able to sustain drives because of those conversions. And we were, they stopped us because of our inability to convert. And uh, it's always going to come down to that. That's why. People spend all that time on that those 13 or 14 plays or 10 plays that you get during the course of the game. We we devote like almost a whole day to those, and uh, and every everybody does, and uh, they're so important. How do you determine if those offensive issues are play calling issues, coaching issues, or execution issues? How do you know? Which, how, how can you determine what is the bigger issue? Yeah, uh, when you look at those, you know they're always going to be. 
you know, one of those things, right? You know, we put our, our players in position as coaches. You know, when it doesn't work, you know, you know, you as a play call, you have to look at that. Did I put our best players in position in coverage, you know, in that particular play, in the kicking game? Did I put them in the right spot uh, to be able to make the play? And then you look at the execution side of it, you know. Was it executed well uh, based on the play design, based on the coverage, based on a multitude of things? So I think you have to look at all of it uh, all encompassing. It's not just one or the other. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm going to go back and look at it. I, I don't. I don't recall that being any substitution issue there. You talking about DJ? Yeah. 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 DJ. Yeah. DJ had an outstanding year. You know, and he's right. just. A, we all know that, but did the passing offense make the gains you would expect? Yeah, yeah, obviously, you know, when you look at the numbers, I, I would say that it didn't, you know, because we're at the uh, bottom tenth of the league or bottom third of that league. I think 27, I think it was last time. But, uh, you know, so obviously that needs to improve, you know, um, you know, and the, the, the passing offense, you know, runs through our skilled players, right, which is Cole. You know, Cole had a lot, of, you know, really good season and so did DJ. You know, so we're certainly excited about that. Um, and we got some good shots down the field from Justin. You know, he, he made some good connections with uh, with uh, DJ and Cole this year. And, uh Again, we just got to continue to improve that. Yeah, Justin, you know, Justin's head bounced off the curb, and then he went to three plays left, and then yeah. he an injured pet. He returned yes, after sir. one play. Did you hear a concussion? Can you explain the process? Yeah, it, it was way across the field, so I couldn't see if it was a hit you know, to the head or not, and, and I think the replay showed it wasn't. Um, but uh, again, that's the process that the NFL has, you know, for that. And it's a good process because you know you want to get guys that are injured, that are wobbly or whatever, off the field to get them checked, and that's what they did. And they took them to the tent, and in the tent is a is an independent doctor, which is which is everybody has that. And then there's our trainer and our doctor, and the independent doctor clears them, and he cleared them pretty quick. You know, it was like one play, and he sent them back in. But the process is there, you know, for that reason. No, I reacted to it. Yeah, I reacted to it for sure because, you know, our guy's taking some hits during the course of the year, and I want to make sure that, you know, we're protecting, you know, our quarterback. And to me, like, again, I'm, I'm like 50 yards away. It's 53 and some change, right, across the field. So I'm, I'm probably 50 yards away. So I'm looking through a bunch of people. But, uh, again, I just saw, you know, what happened afterward. I couldn't see exactly where the placement was. But, again, I'm always going to be battling for our guys. Yeah, beating our division is always important. You know, we had a couple of good quality wins this year uh, in the division, and uh, that's always going to be the number one goal. Uh, and again, it's always one game at a time, uh, one one process, one group versus another group, and you got to keep it that way. But again, we know how important this game is against Green Bay, and again, we got to put our best foot forward going forward. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said. You know, I'll have those conversations with ownership, you know, um, you know, here coming forward, you know, so it'll be midweek in there somewhere, I'm sure, uh, when we set the schedule. And uh, but again, our focus is tomorrow, you know, is for the exit meetings for the players. Matt, whether, whether, it's, whether it's Justin coming back or a new quarterback coming in as a rookie, do you guys need more production from the quarterback position than this? Guys? Yeah, you know, it's, it's again, we're looking at all those evaluations, you know, as we go forward. Um, and it's not just Justin. It's not just the quarterback position. You know, it, we're looking at production from everything. How can we improve the Chicago Bears? Okay, going into 2024, into that season, with the acquisitions that we get. Um, you know, and that's through free agency. You know, we still have good good space there, and also through the draft. And that's going to be important. And again, we're not there yet. We're not at that process. Uh, we're just going to evaluate this group. Uh, we're going to get great feedback from that group. And we're going to implement those changes um, for the group that comes in next year. And that, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, Jalen's just a good player. I mean, he can cover guys. And, uh, you know, it's certainly we had an injury also to the Smitty. You know, that certainly hurt. You know, so you're you know dealing with a couple of things there in terms of, of that. But, you know, Jalen's had a heck, a heck of a year. He can really cover. And he's bought into our, our style, too, in terms of taking the ball away, tackling. And uh, we really like where he is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to go back and look at it. But, yeah, you're exactly right. You know, I, I felt their pass rush, um, but I didn't feel ours. You know, we just got to do a good job of seeing what that is, you know. Um, and, again, we did some pressure some. We did, we did some of those things. But, again, I'll go back and look at it. But, uh, you know, my, my you know hats off to the defensive guys. They've done a really good job of coming together, played some really good solid football uh, during the course of this last eight weeks. And uh, we didn't we didn't play our best today. Yeah, um, I would just say that the, you know he had good rhythm, good timing. I thought they caught some contested catches, you know, that we usually break up. You know, we got to do a good job of busting a triangle and finishing plays uh, there. We did bust up a couple of them, you know, the touchdown to catch and the one in the back. And uh, but uh, yeah, we just got to continue to compete there. Yeah, you know, this second season was different, right? You know, so the first year I started out as a CEO coach, right, uh, managing uh, the whole group, and I thought that was good because it allowed me to be able to oversee offense, defense, kicking game management, and then now uh, the second game of the season I was put into the defensive coordinator role, and uh, and I enjoyed that, you know, and I thought it was a, a good um, for me, it was good for good for the team and good, good for the Bears, but again, we'll evaluate that going forward, uh, but uh, yeah, that's where it is. All right.